is, as you can hear, really rocking for this AFC wild card playoff game as the Oakland Raiders host the New York Jets for the second time in six days. Second only to MVP Kurt Warner. Now Gannon to throw. A lot of time. To the outside he goes. The catch is made by Jerry Rice. When he goes up the middle to Garner. I'm sure we'll see a lot of Wheatley tonight, but right now it is Garner who is the man. And it's second down and seven from the eight-yard line. That's Brown in motion toward the inside. Gannon pump fakes, swings it to the outside to Garner, breaks a tackle, and gets to the four-yard line. In the game, and this is Jordan as the setback as Gannon throws, and he hits Jordan in traffic. And all the attendant problems for a 21-yard field goal. This one is good. And on third and four, the Jets operate in a four wide and keep it on the ground. Good play call. And Curtis Martin with a stiff arm. First down, New York at the 46-yard line. Lamont Jordan is in the game, flanked out to the left. He makes the catch in the second round draft choice. Third down and four, Martin and Anderson are the split backs in this set. Vinny on a tight little roll and then a little shovel pass to Martin. And the Raiders smell that one out. James Dirth to snap it. Cooper gets it down. And Hall this time is wide to the left. The numbers just about mirroring each other. First and ten, Gannon throws. There's Rice. Ryan Rice gets chased out of bounds. Shane Leckler at the hole. Snap and are good. Right here on ABC. Janikowski to kick off, and this time it is a short kick. Fielded at the 11-yard line as Chad Morton takes it away from Lamont Jordan. And Morton is into Raider territory. Raiders on top on two Janikowski field goals. And the handoff to Curtis Martin to hold. And this time, it is good. From the 30-yard line on first down. Gannon surveying, goes to the outside. Meanwhile, Wheatley limped off. It's third down and five. And Gannon slings it to the outside, and Rice makes the catch at the 43-yard line. Again, tremendous protection. No pressure. Gannon takes off. Second down and seven. Garner is the running back. Gannon slips at the 35-yard line. And Janikowski. Right. That's the end of the cellulitis. No question about that. With three field goals, Janikowski now sends a bouncing kickoff inside the 10 after it is juggled by Chad Morton. And Morton does a great job recovering out past the 40. Gets by Janikowski and finally Jerry Porter knocks him down. Second and six, Lamont Jordan is in the game, split wide to the right. They keep the ball on the ground and they give it to Martin. And Curtis takes it to the 30-yard line. Third down and five now from the 25-yard line. Martin, and he can only get to the 23, 41-yard field goal attempt, and it is blocked, it is blocked by Anthony Dorsett in the first half from the 34-yard line, throws over the middle, well, Bogu is the replacement for him as Garner breaks free and finally Coleman runs him down. Caught, Rice, come up in a very tight formation. Brown on a wing, Gannon, good protection, throws, caught, touchdown Brown. Barring a defensive foul, it's the end of the half here. Benny escapes, then throws, it's caught by Coles at the 25 and looking for somebody to lateral to and he laterals it to Martin who's the perfect guy but now Curtis needs some help and it's like the Stanford Cal play with everything but the band and that's the way the first half ends third down and 10 from the 28 yard line Lester Verde slings it up to the 45 and that is Coles making a great grab and getting a first down at midfield Opening drive, second half. End around. Ball handed to Coles. Coles able to turn the corner. On second and three, Testaverde slings it into traffic. Brebette juggles. Beekert says no. Officials say yes. 
Three games by one point. Another game by two points. Here they give the ball to Curtis Martin. Back to the basics. Inside the 20. Martin in the game. They have Anderson in the game, but spread out of an empty backfield. On second and nine, Tessa Verde throws, and it is caught by Crebet. So after a silent first half, Crebet with two big catches. Second and seven from the 30-yard line. That's caught by John Ritchie, the fullback. Second and ten. Gannon has completed his last ten passes. Tim Brown, does he stay in bounds? The one official checks for the other. Yes, he does. The receiver had the right foot down in the field of play. The left foot came down out of bounds. We have an incomplete pass. It will be third down on the 49-yard line. New York is not charged a timeout. Third down. Third down and 10. Here come the Jets on a blitz, and the Raiders pick it up perfectly. Then Gannon buys time, throws. The pass is incomplete. Second and 10 from the 20-yard line. Here comes the blitz, but there was a whistle, and there's no play as Regan Upshaw knocks down Vinny Testaverde, the whistle. Personal foul, number 91, rubbing the pass. Testaverde into traffic and has it knocked away. Little toss back to Wheatley. It's around the corner, picks up the first down. 16-yard pickup from the 40-yard line on first down. Gannon rifles it over the middle, and that's into the arms of Charlie. Third down and seven from the 40-yard line. Jets come on the blitz. Raiders pick it up beautifully, but then Gannon sidearms it. And that is caught by Cole's beautiful play. Benny to the outside to Anderson. And Anderson is the ball alive. No whistle. It was fumble. Raiders recover it. Brady Jackson finds Anderson on the outside here. Watch Johnny Harris rip it out with his right hand. Turnovers. The other was against Carolina. And that's Rice on a slant. Jerry Rice to the three. Crockett the tailback, Crockett with the ball, Crockett with the touchdown. They'll try it on the ground, they get it, Garner. Charlie Garner adds the deuce. Second and nine from the 37. Corbett gets open. third and one. Lamont Jordan is the running back. He gets the ball. He gets the first down. Good hard running. Into traffic, nearly picked off, and then Dorsett with a flag being thrown. Pass interference. Defense number 24. First down. Down by 14. Is chewing a chip shot field goal. I think it's a good call. Keep your eye on Curtis Martin. Then he throws. Caught! Caught by Anderson. A little bit of redemption right there. Touchdown, Richie Anderson on a fourth and goal. 27 seasons ago. Gannon throws. Caught over the run. Over the middle on the run by Jerry Rice. That's Brown in motion. Brown goes over the middle. The pass goes over the middle, but to Jerry Porter. Down into the end zone to Rice. Wow. Off the charts. Nobody does it better. A little fake there. Got him free from the bump by Aaron Glenn. And now Damian Robinson, 22, is too late. After the 26-yard penalty, first down New York at the 49-yard line. The Spinney guns one, and that's caught at the 30-yard line. Raider blitz. He gets it away. It's caught, taken to the 20. It's Richie Anderson. He dropped the ball. Fourth and one. It's a little toss back to Lamont Jordan. And Jordan puts his shoulder down. The cluster. 
Testaverde into the end zone for a touchdown to Krebet. Over the middle, just about the same spot where he had Anderson earlier for the touchdown. I agree, it, it must be so tempting, but he knows if, if he fails, the Jets could capitalize. Gardner, oh, well this is gonna make everything move. Everything. They're on to Foxborough. Touchdown. See you later. Roland Williams out in front. Key block and hold by Tim Brown on Victor Green. Gets away with it. And Charlie Garner, bad foot and all. Got the longest run of the season for him. Getting across the 50 in dramatic fashion that time, Al. That equals the second longest run in postseason history. Here's the way it will look. Oakland against New England. And then tomorrow, Miami meets Baltimore. And the winner of that game goes to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. From the 26-yard line, first down for the Jets. Testaverde dumps it off to Curtis Martin over the middle, and Curtis, an assistant head coach, that chance at second down and one. And Penny stepping up, throws to Coles and makes the catch at the 32, and he takes it to the 16. Testaverde. That's caught, and Coles finally does get out of bounds. He should. And they give wow. it to Martin, and can he get in? No, he can't. Oh, well, whatever chance they had, that will just about end it right there. Because it's third and goal. Then he throws for the end zone as the clock ticks down, and that's incomplete. They want a flag. Don't get it. Clock ticks down to three zeros, and the Oakland Raiders, the number three seed in the EFC, advance in the playoffs. And it ends with the Oakland Raiders beating the New York Jets 38 to 24.